Hello everyone, this is Alan from Technology Moments and I'm going to show you in this opportunity what we experienced so far with this car entertainment system from Okasami, which quite frankly impressed us with performance and stability. We used it thoroughly and we want to share that experience with you. Of course, in this particular short video, we'll be showing the important aspects from pairing it to iOS or Android devices to correctly installing the very easy to use reverse camera. Uh, all the features actually worked as expected, many aspects to highlight, of course. The supports that it includes are as simple as they can get, and yet very convenient for many car models, and actually I think that trucks and buses may also benefit from adding a camera, either for reverse or just as a support viewing angle. It comes very well packaged, you'll receive the main unit. This one, by the way, is the 7-inch model. In my particular experience, I would strongly suggest that you go directly for the 9-inch model. You'll also be getting the support and the adhesive accessories to make this installation task very easy. We did actually go for this one as it took just a couple minutes to have it in place. You can also have it installed upside down and just make sure that the main unit snaps firmly in place. At first, cables and connectors may look a little overwhelming for inexperienced users. By the way, the reverse camera wiring scheme is this one. Understand it before actually getting to work on it. It is actually very easy. We'll be showing you that installation in a moment. As we always prefer, we decide to test it on top of our desktop and then take it to our car when we already know how to use it and even better, learning while not driving. Of course, this is up to you. In my car, it was very easy to find where to install it, either for using the mounting arm that is included. It was even easier using the two-piece alternate support, which can be attached to your vehicle with this fantastic adhesive tape included, but you choose which one suits your needs. They both work fine. Also, before taking it to your car, it was a peace of mind for me at least, making the reverse camera work right here. This is basically what we did. We connected the cigarette lighter adapter to our 12 volt source. Here the AV input adapter that will receive both video and the reverse signal from the reverse light. So when backing up and activating the reverse light, that same voltage will be connected here to both video cable to this particular cable and of course the positive cable for the camera. Simple enough. The negative to the negative of the light bulb. In cars, this is a no-brainer thanks to the color coding. Black to black, red to the voltage. It usually takes a couple seconds to activate the screen and show you the video for backing up. Going back to my car, in my particular case, the reverse light is conveniently close to where the camera was gonna be located, which is the first thing that you might want to check. Also find the right spot for your camera. Mine's a small sedan, so right on top of the license plate will do the job as in most cars. In SUVs, you might want to go for higher angles to guarantee spotting all obstacles when backing up. Also, as you'll see in a moment, the higher the better for getting a full sense of distance to the object. I then started routing the cable from my dashboard through the upper or lower upholstery of your car. Usually it's much easier doing it close to the door gaskets in the bottom of the car where there are edges where it is easy to hide any cable. Went all the way back to my trunk which is where both are, the reverse light and the camera. This way once you are close to the trunk, disassemble the upholstery that covers the trunk or the cover that your tail light assembly has to gain full access to the wiring. This is a very simple task nowadays to be done just by unscrewing or detaching quick release holders. Locate the reverse light bulb, identify positive and negative. You can also use a normal multimeter in case that your cabling is not color coded, which would be just abnormal. Black to black and red to positive. To that same red wire that powers the reverse light bulb, connect the signaling cable that is included in the video cable. This wire that is included in the video cable will just act as a signaling wire telling the main unit that you just shifted to reverse. So it will switch to the camera video input. Now installing the camera. I prefer this approach to install it, wiring it from front to back, as it is right here where there is plenty of room for hiding extra wire that you might end up with. In this case, it was surprisingly close. Find the place where you're gonna install it. In this case, I decided to remove this protector for the license plate light, so the hole to be drilled was gonna be covered and waterproof. I could have drilled right here, but I would have had to use a sealant to waterproof around the wiring. You can always do it, of course. So I decided then, the longer approach. It was just a few more minutes of work, but as you'll see, you get a more professional installation. This hole is gonna be covered by this protector. Enlarge the hole so connectors will go through and you'll be ready to install the base of the camera. I will attach it to this protector. Drill where you need for wiring to go through. 
In this case, install the camera, reinstall the cover, and the only thing left to do is organize wiring and connect. I would recommend using tape so these will not come loose with vibrations. Hide them and secure them with zip ties or tape. Don't forget to check twice the video and power is connected. Reinstall the covers and finally go up front back to the main unit. The only disadvantage that we found is that all these cables could actually be consolidated into one so you'll not end up like we did with all these cables to one side. Connectors could be left for in-dashboard connection. I already have a plan for drilling down right here in the back of the device where it can be covered by the device itself and it can be quickly covered in case I decide to uninstall it. Once you reach the main unit, you will be ready to use it. It worked immediately with no problem at all. Not only for using the reverse camera, which by the way has an extraordinary angle as reverse cameras must, but also has a very good low light sensitivity making this camera a no-brainer for buying. Speaking about the image and distance, uh, what I told you a few moments back is that you need to place the camera at the top of your car in order for you to sense the distance at which you are from the wall, which is very easy to notice at this location. As you can see right here, I have the camera, right here is the wall, and this is the distance at which we are ending right now at this uh, specific example. This, so you can have an idea of what to expect from the angle of the camera is fantastic. As for entertainment, it works surprisingly good with CarPlay, connecting it automatically to my phone a few seconds after I start my car. You will even find it as a wireless screen, so you'll mirror your phone in no time. It works very good. You'll be able to configure automatic connection and the action that your iPhone will do once it connects. If you have Apple Music or Spotify, it resumes playing your favorite music which is something I really like. If you have an Android phone, of course, it'll work just as good. Just find it, connect it, and enjoy. I activated, for example, right here, the guides for backing up, and some might even want to use mirroring of the image. Many more features for you to use in standalone mode, but the full experience will come when linked to your phone. USB and microSD media available is fantastic with no glitches without any problem at all. You want to share your screen? You can do it. If you want, for example, you can also transmit from the unit to your stereo system using the FM frequency that you prefer and avoid using this cable, which by the way, in some power ports, some interference with the engine may occur. Using the stereo cable will give you a much better audio quality. The speed and responsiveness is very good, managing your music app is fantastic and of course navigating, which will depend of course on your wireless service provider of your phone, is great. We did not find a negative aspect to be aware of only positive features that may hey, enrich sir, your experience with your car if it didn't include these features or if you just want Expensive to include more characteristics or even if it is just for adding a reverse camera. We really liked it and as we said, we wanted to share our experience with you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember that the idea with our videos is to bring to you our experience with these devices. So if you're in the decision making process of buying one of these, you make an informed decision. See you next time.